Team Fortress 2 on YouTube in 2011. She enjoyed the game's ageless graphic that was in all SFMs and she kept watching and enjoying those SFM videos. She had Steam only to play Call of Duty around the time and she didn't even realize that TF2 was a game because according to herself, she's a genius. After about 300 hours in Call of Duty she had enough of these stupid kids and pointless multiplayer games that in her opinion don't involve skill. It's just who clicks at an enemy faster and then crouches wins or who can spam G and jump like a kangaroo wins. Not for her. She was looking for an online FPS title that would give players way more diversity and joys and variety in gameplay. While she was still watching some COD YouTubers, she found some TF2 videos on one of these YouTubers channels. That YouTuber is called Boo and he's one of Jerma's friends. Through Boo she found Jerma's channel and started watching his TF2 videos and these encouraged her to try the game out. When she got into the game, she spent the first month just playing MVM as NG. She remembered that there was a multiplayer option, but she couldn't find normal servers. All she kept finding were trading and idle servers. So she was sticking to playing MVM, because it was really fun for her. For some reason, MVM resembled MMOs in her eyes, and being a seasoned MMO player, that was something she liked a lot. After all, there are classes, healer, support, defense, DPS classes, she loved every part of it. Well, for the next month or two, she's been playing only as Angie. She became real good at Engineer. After that, her former boyfriend encouraged her to try online matches. So she decided to give it a go. She jumped on her beloved engineer, super sure she'd wreck them all. But it ended up the other way around. She had no idea how different PvP was from MVM. She kept trying, playing NG for a while. And then she realized, only if her team was trying to show some teamwork, she was able to play efficiently. Usually she tended to just get abandoned by her team. Not long after, she decided to play as Heavy. The class was always fun to play and watch for her and becoming a medic magnet made her happy. After a while, her former boyfriend got her the premium version of TF2, so she opened the store for the first time. What she found was the epitome of Team Fortress 2. Lots and lots of hats. She decided to get one and finally leave her gibbous and pyro goggles behind. As much as she loved them, she hated being called Gibbous Noob, etc. Because after all, she was trying just as hard as these pro players to win. She was just expecting more teamwork from their own team's side. After being backstabbed a more than a considerable amount of times, she decided to try a sniper instead. Very quickly she realized that the class was not her strong suit and after playing sniper for a glorious total amount of 5 hours she gave the class up again. Back then she started making some friends in Team Fortress 2. Friends who wanted to play as a team and she agreed to play as a medic. Since then she loves playing as a medic and in the end she decided they will be her main class. She loves supporting people. She loves seeing those green numbers above their heads while healing them. Felt as natural as a fish feels in the water to her. Unfortunately, one of her friends was very sensitive about TF2. Eventually, he'd blame her for everything and then tell her how bad she was in the game because she wasn't pocketing Ubering him 24-7. After listening to all these complaints and taking these very seriously, believing that maybe she actually was bad at it, she quit TF2 for a longer while. She kept watching YouTubers and that's what made her come back. She just missed all the fun that TF2 had to offer. After coming back she never played with this grumpy friend again and Nixon, personal opinion of mine here, good call. Instead she kept playing with her best friend from Estonia. They were this murderous solimatic or demomatic dude that was dominating half of the other team all the time. She finally felt good at this game. About that time, she wanted to try spying in TF2. She found Mr. P's YouTube channel while looking for spy tutorials. After she'd watched all of them, she became a little better at spy, but the class was just too stressful to her, 
and too hard, so she gave it up again. Even so, she kept watching Mr. P's videos because she found them very entertaining and she decided to learn Pyro. After all, knowing a spy's mechanics and mind is very helpful while playing the spy hunting Pyro. After seeing Mr. Paladin's TPF videos, she decided to give the group a try and joined. Quote, oh damn, these games I've played on TPF servers. I stayed. It was great. All the teamwork, support and people being involved in a game and community made me feel like home." Unquote. Soon after, she saw Paladin's post about Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 being her favorite MMO that she's been playing for well over two years, she instantly decided to join the TPF Guild Wars 2 guild. That's where she met me and a lot of other community members for the first time. We became good friends. Soon after, either me or Mr. Paladin encouraged her to go on Mumble while playing Guild Wars 2. She doesn't really remember who it was, but I think it was Mr. Paladin because I only made the suggestion once on Guild Wars 2. She's a usually very shy person, so she felt super awkward, but still decided to give it a try. She wanted to make friends in TPF, so she joined. Since then she had lots of fun on Mumble, talking and listening to TPFers. Because of knowing a lot about Guild Wars 2 and being generally helpful to everyone, both her and her boyfriend Flabberflab were proposed an officer status in our Guild Wars 2 guild. After a while, she became a player of the week and soon after she realized that she was given a moderator status. She decided to not only help out in Guild Wars 2 but also around TF2. At the moment she's having a break from Guild Wars 2 though because the game is too addicting for her. Quote, I'm super happy about joining TPF. This is a place where I met all my cool friends. I won't be calling them out by names because I know I tend to forget things so I know I will forget mentioning somebody. But yeah, I love you guys, all my friends, admins who work so hard to make TPF better and the whole community. You guys are great. Unquote. Ladies and gentlemen of TPF and every other awesome gaming community, today's guest is Nixon. So, Fenrir Dogfinger here, Stories of TPF, episode number 8. Today, joined with Nixon. Hello. Thanks for joining me today. Hi. No problem. <laughs> Alright, so first question I'm going to be asking would be, what is your real name? You sharing that or no? Oh yeah, I can say my real name is Gosia. Um, it's kind of weird because I'm from Poland, so it's probably not very <laughs> similar, you know, to other people. But yeah, Gosia. All right, Gosia. Uh, so next question <laughs> would be, when's your birthday? Like, how old are you? I'm 23, my birthday is on 20th November 1992. Alright, um, what kind of job are you working at? Or are you still at school? That is what people would like to know as well, I guess. Well, at the moment I have a break from university, but I'm still studying on the university and in the middle of doing my master's degree and yeah in free time I am a private teacher and I teach uh, elementary school kids in past I also taught a little bit school and after university I'm gonna continue uh, teaching kids <laughs> all right um next up would be the question what is your main class in Team Fortress 2 and why exactly are you playing that class? What is it that makes you love that class that much? Hmm. My main class is Medic. Although many people think that my main class is Pyro, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my main class is Medic basically mostly because I like like helping people in all other games I used to play. I was always a support character. So it's just the most fun for me to see other people succeed, but basic thanks to me, you know, it's like they win because of you, but they don't realize that. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, what? That's true. <laughs> yeah. Just. Mm. All right. Uh, 
next question is, <laughs> uh, what's your main subclass? Yes. So my subclass is Pyro. Any yeah. specific reason why th why that is? Well, I really like Pyro uh, voice lines, and it's really fun to just burn people and their and then shoot them with shotgun until they die. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Glad to hear that. Um, next, a couple of questions about you personally. Like, what is uh, what is it that made you join TPF back there? Hmm. Well, like the thing what made me most interested in TPF was the fact that at the time I was kind of grumpy. TF2. I had a break because of all the Valve servers were like very bad there was no teamwork and everyone was just selfish and people were being kind of mean to each other and stuff so one day i just saw mr faladi's video about tpf and well i decided to check it out and yeah i stayed mostly for community for teamwork and just for good fun on servers without screwing around you know all right um Next up would be the question, yeah. what is your plans regarding Team Fortress 2 or TPF or just, you know, now that you, or just your work in general, like, what do you want to become? What's your plans with Team Play first now that, you know, you're a moderator, so anything that you especially want to go to? Well, my plans are basically to make the community even bigger of course and encourage everyone to p to follow our ideals because it's still a kind of big issue in TPF at times and yeah I just hope that we will have more people and more people will be willing to work hard for both teams in order to win mm -hmm. and just make friends obviously so uh, on the matter of friends, is there are there any people that you would like to call out on? Like, you know, this is your video, this is where you express yourself, so anything you want to talk about, or anyone you want to call out, now's your chance. Like, hey, you're asking me like, about my friends I'm waiting to see? Yeah, like, say hi to them, here, right now. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, well, there's a lot, lot of people, I just... I can't like like uh, list everyone one by one because I forgot someone, forget someone. So it's kind of hard. I mean, the most I'm like friends with is like you basically because you were like the one who like was the nicest to me in give back in good words and stuff. Uh, obviously, Mr. Pari because he made me a moderator and stuff. Um, I don't know, just, oh, there's so many people. <laughs> uh, maybe also a tax because he's just really helpful. And when I became a moderator, he was helping me with everything. He was like super patient with my questions and stuff. All right, so. Yeah, all the admins and all the people that are regularly playing on the server. Because we always have fun on Mambo. <laughs> Anyone else that, uh, anything yeah. else that you want to share with the people, like, any specific topic that you want to talk about? Really? Um, hmm. I don't know. What to talk about with people in TPL other than stop capping E at the first time. I mean, you know, stop capping E first on Steam. That's the only thing I know. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you about that after <laughs> after this, but yeah, I get what you mean. All right, so um, I guess that about sums up today's interview. Thanks for joining yep. me uh, in today. Been a pleasure to have you. No problem. <laughs> All right. It's been fun. Kind of awkward. Yeah, I mean that that's what <laughs> an interview always is, isn't it? Awkward. Um, yeah. I'm just awkward in general, so it's <laughs> And nah, me more, because I'm way too open. Alright, so <laughs> every everyone, like if you did, share this video around the community if you want, subscribe for more, and don't forget, always be the ace up your team sleeve. See you around. 
and we're in the end card again. This time around, Stories of TPF, Episode 8, Nixon. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode with the medic and pyro main around. Um, <clears throat> yeah, what I wanted to talk about was, here I've linked two things again. First thing is me doing a spy contract because you know just some regular gameplay. And the second one is the link to Freddy's trailer for the MBM that we've been doing with Mr. Paladin, Freddy himself, uh, Dave from Jacked Up Gaming, YOLO, and Rayburn. Been awesome, but I'm not gonna link my video point of view because the o my OBS has been skipping frames like hell. So no, no. I hope you all have an awesome day and don't forget, always be the ace up your team's sleeve.